In this video by ABN Painting, we are doing preparation work and spray painting is in the block wall. We start our preparation with pressure washing the wall. We use high pressure for the top and middle part of the wall and for the lower part of the wall where is a lot of dirt, we switch the pressure to low. After the wall is dry, we do masking. Where the wall meets the house, we cover the house with 12 inch masking paper and we also mask off all the edges of the wall that are shared with neighbor. On the other side of the wall, where it meets the house, we cover the house with 12 inch masking paper as well. We run the paper everywhere where the concrete floor meets the wall and also cover with paper the artificial grass. On top of the paper we put the tarps that will help us catch the overspray. When we mask off metal gates we use blue painters tape first. It's for delicate surfaces and it has very little adhesive so when we remove it after we're done with spray painting it will not leave any residual glue and also it will minimize the chances of lifting off existing paint from the gate. On top of the blue tape we use green tape that has a lot of adhesive and that will help keep plastic in place. We start spray painting by applying Luxon masonry primer to the part of the wall that's never been painted before. So we can avoid a lot of overspray while spray painting a pony wall. We set the pressure on the sprayer to the medium setting. Once we're done with priming, we change the primer for the paint and start spray painting the rest of the wall. Every time we spray a wall, we look on the other side to see if there's anything of value that can be damaged by overspray. On this wall there is nothing on the other side we have to worry about, so we can spray paint at full pressure. When we apply the first coat of paint, we do it from side to side. And for the second coat, we apply it in different direction, going from top to bottom. That helps create an even coverage and eliminate any lines or streaks. When the cinder block wall is painted to one of the neutral colors, tan, gray or beige, it usually requires only two coats of paint. White color is one of the hardest colors to cover the cinder block wall with and it requires multiple coats. For this wall we applied a total of four coats of paint. And this is the look of the wall before we started and after we finished. 